By exposing our children to adult concepts such as gender identity, we are asking them to carry a load that is much too heavy for them. Might I suggest instead of anal sex, perhaps we could go back to teaching cursive. This book is not appropriate and it is in your schools. Of course, it occurs to me that if you're worried about sex, there's another book that really needs to be on your radar. It's a classic. It has loads of explicit sexual content, more than any of the banned books that I read this summer. It starts off with a guy named Adam and a woman named Eve frolicking naked in public and not even being ashamed. What's up everybody, Major Retire Richard Ojeda here, and Rabbi Sharon Bruce is the founder of ICAR, a Jewish community that's mission is to reanimate Jewish practice and inspire people of faith to reclaim a soulful, justice-driven voice. And that is exactly what she did in a sermon that included the topic of book banning. Then Avram pretends that his hot wife is his sister, twice, lending her to Pharaoh and Avimelech in order to save his own life. Sarah encourages her husband to sleep with their nanny. Lot offers his virgin daughters to an angry mob of sex offenders. Leah and Rachel, who are sisters, marry the same guy. And then they fight for the next several years over who's going to sleep with him each night. Jacob impregnates both of them and then has sex with their handmaids as well. Tamar dresses up as a prostitute and has sex with her father-in-law, and Potiphar's wife tries to seduce Joseph and then accuses him of attempted rape. And that's just in the book of Genesis. Wait until you see what happens with King David. Her response has gone viral, and in case you didn't know who she is, here's a couple of facts. In 2013, the Daily Beast ranked Bruce as number one on its list of America's most influential rabbis. She has been on the cover of Time Magazine and blessed President Obama and Vice President Biden at the inaugural National Prayer Service in the same year. She is an absolute powerhouse. So when you have a person of her caliber addressing the hypocrisy of extremist Christian beliefs, it's reasonable to say that she knows what she's talking about and what she has to say matters. Christian extremists are folks that think that their life and everyone else's life is subject to their set of rules based on the Bible. The problem is this logic is apparent. The Senate decided to probe the issue of library book bans today. And unfortunately, you're about to hear some, well, videos of Senator John Kennedy of all people, uh, basically reading passages from books that he feels and other uh, Republicans in the Senate feel should be banned from school libraries. He got on top and slowly inserted himself into me. It was the worst pain I think I have ever felt in my life. Eventually, I felt a mix of pleasure with the pain, close quote. All boys aren't blue. So that happens. <laughs> The right-wing lunatics who think that God should be in schools and who want to destroy the separation of church and state haven't even read an indictment. What makes anyone think that jackaloons like Lauren Boebert or Marge the Trainwreck Green know anything about the Bible? Every bag of pastor who has 10 followers or more has been preaching about civil war and violence as being the due course of action as a response to Donald Trump's incarceration. Rabbi Bruce exposed the liars in a poignant way. She shed light on the hypocrisy using their own words and actions against them. Bruce pointed out that if the extremists are worried about sexual themes in books that are available to children and adults in libraries or in schools, they should also be worried about the very book they use against everyone else, the Bible. She spoke with a righteous fire, not in the fake style of the MAGA preachers that have been supporting Donald Trump and running their congregations away, or like the ones that wrongfully prophesied that Donald Trump would win the 2020 election. Rabbi Sharon Bruce is the person of integrity, and she is spot on with the truth she has presented. Well done. Sapper's clear the way, airborne all the way.